Gonna get this party started here in a minute. Just clicked on record so I know what I'm doing today. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Troy, what is up? Hope you're having a great day, Troy. Coming to you guys from Starlink. Uh, just up here doing some routine maintenance on, you know, the old uh, Starlink so that everybody can have some free 5G. You know, Elon Musk wants to give everybody free internets. And so I'm just up here in space, you know, doing a little bit of repairs, gonna do a, you know, crypto and coffee show for you guys. So if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, share with a friend. This is Crypto and Coffee. Let's see if it's showing up today. Crypto and Coffee, oh, nope. Reception's a little bad up here. And there we go, beans and brews. Reception's a little bit spotty up here in uh up here in starling but this is crypto and coffee your daily jolt of financial markets we talk about cryptocurrency we talk about stocks we talk about commodities oil precious metals we talk about everything that's going on personal finance wise so again i hope you guys had a great uh, weekend let's jump right in to the charts so we got cooking today, huh? But before we do that, if you're new to Bitcoin, if you're new to cryptocurrency, go ahead and check out my website, galactictrust.com. Since 2007, we've been helping individuals understand Bitcoin, invest in Bitcoin, use Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in their business and their personal life. A lot of good information on this website. You can also get a copy of my free book, Crypto Investor Secrets, how to invest in, how to capitalize on the greatest investment opportunity in human history. I believe in the next two to five years, you could turn a thousand dollars or every thousand dollars that you invest in digital assets into a million dollars or more. Go ahead and uh, check out the video presentation I did where I lay out why I believe that you can do that. And then moving on to MTI, Mirror Trading. Man, Mirror Trading has been doing us real good these past few weeks. So if you, wanna, if you are in Bitcoin already and you want to learn how to get up to 1% return on investment every single day, message me. I'd love to share it with you. Here's my trading, um, my trading reports or records. From every day so friday it's monday through friday that we get paid out so friday you know got a quarter of a percent a little over half a percent on thursday wednesday you know a 20th of a percent so again if you want to you know get a good return on your investment paid out every single day so a half a percent a day means you're gonna you're gonna double your money in you know less than 10 months so not bad and then just moving on again, last week we netted about 2% return on investment. So if you have 10,000 bucks, that's $200 that you made last week, you know, and it's totally liquid. So I don't know very many investments uh, with the benefits that crypto has. And last month, 10% return on investment. So if you had $1,000 invested, you're going to make 1,000 bucks off of that. Can keep it into compound, can pull it out, pay for bills, things like that. Jumping into the markets, crypto, Bitcoin down. Bitcoin had an incredible weekend. In fact, yesterday, yesterday I was a little bit nervous because Bitcoin was touching like 7,800. And I've said this on the channel, I've got some cash on the sidelines because I think this, I think that every market is going to have another panic sell off when people start going back to work and then the news starts saying the boogeyman is out for a second string of attacks, I think is going to have another big panic sell in the market. And so yesterday when Bitcoin's taken off and hitting 7,800 bucks, I'm like, oh man, I do, ah, I want it to drop. I actually want, I mean, if Bitcoin went to $2,000, oh my gosh, I'm selling my kids. Try to get some, I only have one kid, but I'm selling him on the market. Ethereum down half a percent. 
sitting at $193 and rounding out the top three is XRP up 1% at 19 and a half cents. Man, I'd like to pick up some Bitcoin and some XRP at just rock bottom fire sell prices. Moving into the charts, the daily chart on Bitcoin. I mean, it's looking strong. I mean, you can see every day just making higher highs-ish. I mean, it's, you can see on the daily, the energy is moving up. But I don't think that there's enough volume in the market to really propel this thing above 8,000. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong a lot of times. And yesterday we closed real strong at closed uh, yesterday, what, 70, last week, I should say, it's about $7,800. So great close. As you can see, making higher highs every week, moving in, going into this halving event. We'll see if there's enough volume to really propel it past 8,000. I don't know. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of with this guy. This goes along with that same point. Strategist who accurately called last year's Bitcoin plunge says traders should brace for final dip. An analyst who correctly called the start of Bitcoin's major correction last year says that traders who were waiting to catch the bottom of another Bitcoin pullback may miss the boat. The pseudonymous, pseudonymous, whatever, trader Dave the Whale tells his 27,000 followers on Twitter that he believes Bitcoin is due for one last retracement, retracement down to a level support of 6,400. Oh, I was hoping that we're talking like 2,000. Go ahead and read this article. I know I'm going to, because like I said, I, I would like for, I'd like for another pullback so I can get some more rock bottom deals. Moving into Ethereum, same thing on the daily, really holding nicely above that 100-day moving average. We're sitting at $192 right now. The weekly had to have, uh, not the monthly, the weekly ended strong. Just again, look at this, just every week, higher highs, just moving forward. We'll see what happens. And XRP, XRP trying, trying to move up on the daily over the last few days. It's really been trying. But again, I think all of these are going to, you're running out of steam. You're running out of liquidity really coming into the market because everybody, there's, every, there's just so much uncertainty everywhere you look. We're still at record unemployment. People are really struggling financially. A lot of people, and, and, and let me know if you've gotten your uh, stimulus, if you've gotten your 1200 bucks, type in got it or haven't got it in the comments. I'm really, I'm curious to see who has gotten those stimulus checks and who hasn't. Cause it's, I mean, we're going on a month now from them talking about sending those over to you. And Dow Jones, Dow Jones breaking above 24,000. Very interesting stuff right here, my friends. Gosh, it's just, it is wild, wild. I mean, if this was a free market, this would just be tanking. But you've got companies like Apple, Amazon, Facebook, doing really well right now during these times, especially Amazon, Netflix, all of those just killing it. Oil plunges more than 25%, extending recent losses as storage fills. Oil ETF dumps, plunging June oil contract as Kramer says hedge funds are trying to crush the fund. Kramer sees another oil price collapse. This has to go to zero again. Dang. New Jersey governor says the state needs more federal assistance to avoid an Armageddon scenario. Dow jumps more than 200%. We're even more than 200% now. I mean, we're up 267 points. Interesting, man. Tesla up 60. I mean, I, look, at, I'm up here. I'm up here doing the, doing the work, getting you guys that, uh, that 
internet all around the world with the old uh, Space Link or whatever it's called, Skylink. Skylink, wasn't that from Terminator? Maybe they're setting all this up so that they can connect all the robots to the internet. Trump betting millions to lay the groundwork for quantum internet. That's what I'm doing up here. Oil plunges. Let's move on to oil. Oil just flopping right over. Flopping right over. Oh, man. And a lot of people, a lot of traders, a lot of day trade. And this is why I don't day trade. This is why I don't day trade is because a lot of people bought into oil. A lot of people bought into oil, not understanding really the fundamentals of what's going on. Now they might be stuck in a trade and that thing's just going to, we'll see where it goes. Gosh, it's just so crazy. Silver. No, this is gold. Seventeen ten, still trying, trying to get above the these highs about seventeen forty, seventeen fifty. And man, I mean, I think the winner today, the winners, I mean, tied. You got uh, Dow Jones above twenty four thousand. You've got Bitcoin. Gosh, what's up with these? Bitcoin really trying to stay above 7,500. Man, we'll see if it's going to be able to. Thanks so much for everybody that's watching this. See what's up with Mike Maloney again. Every chance, every, every, go get his free book. Go check out the video series. I've linked it in, uh, I'll link it again in this video. These will change the way you see the world. And I'm not trying to spread fear, but they say, you know, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. A lot of people wouldn't be in the position that they're in if they would have taken responsibility for their life. If they understood how the game worked, they take responsible responsibility for their part in the game. Learn how to save your money, discipline yourself. Wouldn't be going through this. That's, this is Tyson Foods warns the food supply chain is breaking as plant, plants close. So food chain now closing. I mean, uh, I'm grateful for the people that get to go back to work. You know, hair salons, barbers, whoever else is going back to work. I'm grateful that people have an opportunity to go make money. But man, that this is not over. Save your money. Make wise investments right now if you can. If you have cash in the bank, if you have cash sitting in CDs, if you have cash sitting in 401ks, I'm not telling you to cash it out, but I'm telling you to get your house in order, find out exactly where you're at, find out exactly how long it would take for you to get that cash out should you need it, because a lot of people are cashing out their 401ks right now, because a lot of people have lost their business, they've lost good paying jobs. So now they are cashing out their 401ks. People are now, they're, they're becoming aware. In my opinion, based on my research, the only reason why the Dow Jones is above 24,000 today is to stall a panic. This whole thing, this whole Fugazi, this is to prevent a panic. This is what you really should be looking at. This is deflation. This is the value of your dollar going down going down because now look now pretty close an ounce of silver one ounce of silver is now worth an entire barrel of oil so man oil might be going down compared to the dollar but it's really not it's really not because now look i mean uh one ounce of silver is 14 times greater, more valuable than $1. One Bitcoin. This is really, if you could wrap your mind around these concepts, is one Bitcoin, one Bitcoin, one line of code is 7,675 times more valuable 
than a $1 bill. One of these things. Man, I mean, if I had a Bitcoin, I ain't ripping up a Bitcoin. This is garbage. Oh, my son's going to get mad at me. Dad, why are you ripping up my dollars, dog? But I mean, uh, this stuff is going away. This stuff is going away. And it's being replaced by digital assets. That's what I'm trying to do in this show, trying to wake you up so that you can see that. Because I'm already sold. There, in fact, you couldn't sell me that it ain't going to work. So, hope you like this show. Yeah. Uh, every day I'm just working on getting better at these shows. I hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to be done. I'm taking the old, uh, the old elevator down. Uh, it's like a four or five hour elevator ride down back to planet earth. And I will see you tomorrow coming live from back at home. I'm going to be finally back home after three weeks. Going to be back home going to be streaming live from Mikasa. Mikasa es su casa, but Mikasa es also Mikasa. So have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.